Hey, welcome back to the latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, this evening's episode features a brew out of an in-state uh, Ohio here, out of an in-state uh, brewery. This here is uh, Jackie O's uh, Pub and Brewery, and I believe they are out of Athens, Ohio. Uh, this here is their OPA, they call it an Ohio Pale L, and they say this is a original brew pub, Pell L slash IPA hybrid, if you can see that there or not. Uh, the can art on this is actually pretty kick-ass. You got like a forklift, um, which is right up my alley because I'm a certified uh, PIT uh, trainer. Uh, so you got the forklift. It's like in the uh, cosmos here out in space. You got this hop trail forklift uh, busting through like a ring of fire. Um, it's actually uh, pretty cool to me anyway. So um, definitely some nice artwork going on there. You got the uh, Jackie O's uh, logo there. This here is a uh, 6% alcohol by volume. And I could not find um, an IBU on this. So um, what we'll do is I'll try to tell you what I think it is. But uh, this here is, um, like I said, they're calling it an OPA, Ohio Pale L. And uh, their website says, uh, known as OPA, this evolving beer came, this evolving beer was originally brewed in our brew pub with three hop varieties. These Pale L and IPA hybrids hybrids are highly crushable. So uh, we'll see how crushable this is. Uh, anyhow, like I said, that's pretty cool um, can art going on there. We'll crack this open. I uh, got a little bit of. Very, very aggressive. Nice explosion there. We're going to see if she tops. And what we'll do is we will slide this thing over here. We'll grab us another, can another glass here. Seems to be very carbonated. Uh, nice little mess we got going on here uh, color wise uh, now there's a ton of carbonation stirred up in this thing but uh, color wise uh, very again juicy looking um, juicy looking uh, beer there white head on this thing uh, you see like oh I don't know about a four inch head on this bad boy right there but we're still looking at uh, probably about two inch head on this thing uh, slightly over two inch head uh, lemony grassy citrusy aroma picking up on this thing hoping that would die down a little bit there uh, let's see, I think we have a ton of lacing going on here, but with that massive amount of head on there, it's kind of hard to tell. But color-wise, uh, like I said, juicy looking, uh, goldish orange looking color. I'm not sure what it's really showing up there on the camera, but, um, definitely looks crushable. Anyhow, um, kind of a piney, um, aroma coming off of it so uh, we're gonna give it a go okay a little bit more of a piney taste than I thought kind of a, um, a light to medium carbonation mouth fill. Not a lot of uh, citrus. It's more bittery, bittery hoppiness.
maybe a, a combination of um, lemon, um, citrusy lemon uh, taste, uh, kind of a piney taste. That first drink, I would taste very piney. But really not too bad. I wasn't so sure after that first drink, but the more I drink of it, um, it's really not um, that bad. I was hoping for a little bit more, obviously. Um, I always hope for a little bit more from the in-state uh, breweries, but uh, you yeah, look at that uh, can art. Can art is definitely pretty sweet. Um, I think on my chart here, zero, I don't want to see this crap again. Uh, six, I'd go out of my way to uh, I push an old person down to get the last one. Probably, I'm probably going to give this about, I think I'm going to go with the four out of six on this. You know, after that first drink, I wasn't sold on it, but the more I drink of it, um, I think they're right. It could be crushable. So I'm going to go with the four out of six on this thing. If you're in Ohio, this is somewhere in your area. Um, you've ever had it before, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, remember, like, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram. Four out of six. That's my thoughts.